you'll notice on your BD calendar that the sun takes um, as it as the as it passes through these uh, constellations, it will take a month. Or overall, when it goes through all the twelve of the constellations, it does describe a solar year, 365 and a quarter days. But what we're talking about in precession is the amount of time it takes for the sun to show up in a different constellation on the vernal equinox or on the spring autumnal equinox in March. That's 2,160 years. You see how slow these things go, but they are to the moment accurate um, depictions of time and in, in the progression of time. And we can all set our our uh, greater clocks to this. Now, uh, why is it 2,160 years? Okay, there's 12, remember there is 12 uh, constellations as we go around. So if we make a clock and we got 12 ticks along there, each, each tick is 30 degrees because 360 degrees divided by 12, each one is 30 degrees. One degree, you'll remember, is 72 years. All of these numbers, by the way, are significant. They are relational to all other measurements in the universe, but 72 times 30 is 2,160. So for it to go, for the sun to show up on the spring equinox in the north, um, from one, the beginning time of, of one constellation to the end time of one constellation, takes 2,160 years. Now we are coming right out of Pisces right now and into Aquarius. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Remember the 60s song? I, I became a little hippie, a little Mr. Hippie based on that song and I went out and got bell bottoms and all of this. <laughs> and uh, this got me going on these kinds of thinking uh, because it's a very powerful song. I, I, I could maybe sense that there was something much, much more behind it. And uh, this was very attractive to me. So it just spoke to my energetic, um, how I'm put together and why I am still here talking about this stuff and bringing it to you now. Now you might have something similar going on in your life, but suffice to say we're, let's say that we're between one o'clock and two, we're right here at the one o'clock point where we're coming out of Pisces and going into Aquarius. Well, we're in this cusp, this, this transition period, because you don't go from one constellation energetic into another, because you'll notice, I mean, the past 2,160 years, this was just before uh, Christ was born, and it's up till now, uh, 2012, December 21st, 2012, was supposedly the end of the Piscean age. Anyway, going from Pisces to Aquarius there, um, was a great energetic uh, change. Aquarius describes a more relaxed time, a more loving time, har harmonic, uh, a harmonious in the human aspect, in human experience, and also with the nature, with the overall energetic going around uh, uh, the entire universe, not just the Earth. This is something that affects all of us, and I mean all of us with the capital U, um, throughout um, existence as we know it. All right, so, but this is not something, you know, th this would be a great change if it just happened right now. And okay, good, now we're in another energetic. That would create great destruction. So it, that doesn't happen. So we're in this cusp point, which takes another 72 years. So dedicate one degree of, of earth wobble to do this transition between Pisces and Aquarians that, that we're experiencing right now, okay? And so we're gonna be in that cusp, that segue, if you will, for another about 25 years. Look on your BD calendar, and it's curious to note, even though the end was at 2012, see what constellation the sun is in. Sun now, not moon, sun is in on the spring equinox uh, northern equinox, the Indian calendar, of course, is talking about north and find out uh, what 
constellation you're in there it's very curious so we're still in transition mode there obviously according to, i'm not getting the answer because i want you to look at your biodynamics calendar and to really appreciate it now i want to talk about um why these measurements according to our gregorian calendar are not accurate we learn that everything happens on 21 21 21 and it's not it's garbage um it doesn't occur like that at all because we've got 28 days, 30 days, 31 days. Of course, things are not going to occur on the 21st, year in, year year out, with every celebration, with every um, uh, particularly uh, significant um, astronomical uh, event that occurs. Um, so look at your calendar again for the September, which would be uh, the Northern Hemisphere autumnal equinox, vernal equinox for the for the south and see what day that occurs you'll be quite shocked it's not september 21st not and the same as it's not march 21st uh this time around so um these are things to to make a note of um i would pay attention to the bd calendar as that's an accurate measurement so we'll just cheerfully assume that this is all um sort of very accurate <laughs> <laughs> it's done correctly.